Use one cabbage for every pound of meat. You'll have a little leftover cabbage that you can chop up and use as a cooked vegetable another day. Square the bottom of the cabbage, then insert the knife vertically, making an even cut around the bottom of the stem so that you can remove the core as a single piece. This will allow the water to reach the center of the cabbage during blanching. The dark green outer leaves should be peeled off and discarded. We're making a three pound tray. Put a big pot of water up to boil. Cover it so it boils faster. Once it's at a rapid boil, add some salt and then put the heads of cabbage in. Cover them and let them boil. Once they're blanched, take them out and put them in a colander to drain. I've got a pot underneath the colander so the water doesn't run all over the counter. Now you can dump your boiling water down the sink and refill the pot with cold water. Put the cabbages into the cold water as soon as possible so they stop cooking. If you have some ice, dump it in there too. The faster they cool off, the faster you can start making the cabbage rolls. Once they're cooled off, take them out and put them in a pan, cut part down so they can drain. Now let's go make the cabbage rolls. Remove all the outer leaves until only a small core is left, carefully without tearing any of the leaves. Rinse some rice under cold water and let it drain for a minute or two. Now put your meat in a big bowl and add the rice to it. Then add the eggs, always checking them for shells, blood, or impurities in a glass dish first. Next, add the rendered chicken fat, salt, pepper, and garlic. Chop fresh garlic very finely or use garlic paste so the garlic is distributed throughout the meat. And then mix everything up together until the rice and meat is completely mixed. Place two cabbage leaves on the cutting board, overlapping. Next, in the center of the leaves, place a small amount of the meat and rice mixture. Roll it forward, tightly, like a cigar, wrapping the ends underneath. Keep on rolling until all the cabbage and meat mixture is done. Choose a cooking pan that's just big enough to hold the cabbages. You don't want a lot of extra space for them to float around and fall apart. As each one is rolled, put it in the cooking pan in a single layer and pack them tightly so they don't unroll during cooking. An electric skillet or a crock pot slow cooker are the ideal pans to cook them in because they begin cooking right away. The temperature can be controlled and most importantly, they won't burn on the bottom. You must avoid burning on the bottom or the burnt flavor will ruin the entire batch. If you cook them in a pan inside the oven, chop up the cabbage cores that you had left after peeling the leaves off and spread them around the bottom of the pan before you put the cabbage rolls in to keep them from touching the bottom of the pan and possibly burning. Here's a close look at how to roll them up without them opening up while cooking. Keep them rolled tightly, roll from the bottom and fold those sides in and then roll it up the rest of the way. When you place them in the pan, put them with the rolled side down on the bottom so it doesn't unroll. Peel a large tart green apple. You're going to grate it into the sauce. If you're going to use more than three apples, it's easier to use a food processor than a grater. In that case, core the apples after peeling them and put them into a food processor for about a minute. Now to make the sauce. Put a pot on the stove big enough to hold your amount of tomato juice. Add the tomato juice and turn the heat to high. Add the tomato paste. Add the lemon juice. You can also use bottled lemon juice or a combination of bottled juice and real lemons. Stir it up and taste it with a teaspoon to make sure you can just taste the sourness of the lemon. Some lemons are more sour than others, 
So if you need a little more lemon juice, add some. Now, grate the apple into the sauce or dump the apples from your food processor into the sauce. This one needs a little more lemon juice. Add brown sugar, stir it up again, and cook until it just starts to bubble. Now we're ready to pour it over the stuffed cabbage rolls. Pour it slowly because this stuff burns like hot lava if it splashes. Pour a little bit into a separate cup for later in case it runs low on sauce due to evaporation while it's cooking. Cover it tightly and cook on a very low heat. Just enough that it's bubbling, but not enough that it's bubbling over the sides of the pot. Cook for three hours. And then you get this. 